Welcome to the Overtime page. My name is Edgar Valise. And I'm Mariana Martinez. Let's begin. The Cures hosted number 19 Texas A&M Wednesday night for the fifth annual Striking Out Breast Cancer game. The Cougars defeated the Aggies 4-3, which included a three-run homer from junior Melissa Gregson in front of a 1,672 crowd. This is a Cougar Salva Stadium record history. Also this week, senior pitcher Amanda Crabtree earned her fifth CUSA Pitcher of the Week award in just this season alone. Switching sides, the Cougar baseball team will be hosting East Carolina Pirates today, April 21st through Saturday the 23rd. Today's and tomorrow's game will begin at 6.30 p.m., while Saturday's game will be at 1 p.m. The women's basketball head coach Ted Buchanan announced the signing of three new prospects, bringing the total to eight prospects for the new season starting this fall. The players I signed consist of Mielka Liodre of League City, Amanda Lawson of Bryan, Texas, and Jamie Drummer of Manise, Indiana. Ladies, welcome to the team. In local sports, the Rockets announced that Rick Adelman will no longer be the coach. Rick Adelman went 43-39 this past season, and he is the most uh, successful coach since Rudy Tomjanovich back in 1993-1994. The Houston Dynamos have announced this past Monday that they will be facing the Bolton Wanderers for the Charity Cup in July. On their previous cup matches, they have faced Los Rayados de Monterrey in La Aguila del Salvador. Also, the arrival of news member Sergio Contreras, alias El Coque, will be arriving next week. And finally, for local sports, the Houston Arrows swept Peora Riverman on the first round of playoffs. Their next opponent date and time for their second round is to be announced. It will be either between the Texas Stars or the Milwaukee Admirals. In international sports, Real Madrid defeated Barcelona 1-0 for the Copa del Rey. Cristiano Ronaldo scored in overtime, and now the two teams will meet in the Champions League semifinal coming up next week. In boxing, Mexican Abner Morales uh, might not face Joseph Agbeco, who collapsed this Monday after he arrived in Los Angeles. If there will be a fight, there is still no announcement pending who Abnes will face. Thank you for joining us. For the latest, be sure to check www.uhelgato.com. My name is Edgar Valise. And I'm Mariana Martinez. Enjoy your footy, enjoy your baseball, enjoy your hockey, enjoy it all.